Yeah, I mean, it's really unusual in the history of the U.S. to have something be declared a fundamental right and then be taken away by a court. And I think that that really was hard for a lot of people. Um, and and it, it also, we know just from behavioral psychology, having something taken away from you is harder than never having had it in the first place. And so I think this feeling that a right was taken away is is motivating a lot of voters. And I think there's also a feeling that the Supreme Court didn't care that what it was doing was unpopular, which is also sounds like, OK, that's unremarkable. You know, the Supreme Court is not elected. They're not supposed to care what people think. But historically, they always have. Right. There's the old joke about the Supreme Court follows the election returns. And that was true. Right. I mean, in, in U.S. history, the Supreme Court rarely ignored what people think on an issue and suffered a backlash when it did. And I think to some degree, that's what you're seeing now, that people didn't want the majority of Americans didn't want Roe to be overturned. Um, and when it was, they were upset that the Supreme Court hadn't cared what they thought. And they were upset that a right they thought they had no longer right. was there. 